We arrive in Southampton, ready to board our first ever cruise on P&O Iona. Straight to the olive grove for lunch. We didn't need to book on the first day, they just let us in. The food here was delicious and it was all included within our fare. We watched the sail away from Southampton from our balcony and then got ready for our first night out on board Iona. This was the dinner menu on the first night in the main dining room. The food inside the main dining room was very good, the steak was cooked perfectly and the chocolate dessert was amazing. Day two had an amazing sleep and it's sea day today and it's also celebration night tonight. The eggs benedict in the main dining room was one of the best I've had. My only complaint was the lack of sauce, but in future mornings I just asked for double. This was the only time we tried the main dining room for lunch. It was a bit disappointing so we went to the buffet the rest of the time. Got ready for celebration night and we had booked the chef's table. This was in a section of the buffet called the beach house that they had cordoned off for tonight. Food for celebration night was really good and our table location right next to the window made it a really great evening. We went up to the crow's nest after dinner for our included glass of champagne and a few cocktails. We enjoyed the Sky's the Limit show in the main theatre. The songs were good and the stage and set design were brilliant.
As you can see, Iona docks right in the centre of Stavanger, so we had a quick buffet breakfast and then got off the ship to go for a walk around the town. Our first sighting of the first of many trolls. Outside a bar down this street, there was a sign that said, Oh, you hate your job? Why didn't you say so? There's a support group for that. It's called Everybody and they meet at the bar. I think this was one of my favourite quotes of the day. We decided to try the keys for lunch today. We had fish and chips and southern fried chicken. These were very good. Yours at around 6 pm tonight and proceed north along the coast of Norway before making a turn to the east at 4.30 tomorrow morning and then making our way along one of Norway's most beautiful fjords, the Nord Fjord and on towards our berth in Olden, where I aim to be safely alongside and all fast for 9am. Now just to stress again, the views that we will be greeted with in the morning really are breathtaking, so I would wholeheartedly recommend being up nice and early to enjoy them. However, if you don't fancy too early a start, please don't worry, as we will still be able to enjoy them again as we sail out tomorrow evening. Now as for the weather on route for tonight, well, once we leave the shelter of Stavanger, we can expect fairly strong northwesterly winds and up to a force 7 and more moderate seas as we encounter the remnants of the weather system that passed over us earlier. The good news is that as we make our approaches to North Fjord early on, we should start to see both the wind and swell abate. However, as you may notice some motion of the ocean tonight, I must ask that you take a little extra care when walking around and please do make use of the handrails provided. Looking ahead to tomorrow in Olden, the forecasters are predicting another mixed bag of clouds, sunny spells and the odd shower with a fresh westerly breeze and temperatures reaching a high of 16 degrees Celsius, that's 61 degrees Fahrenheit. Now just so you are aware, following our arrival tomorrow, I'll be down on the quayside by the midships gangway from around 9 o'clock for an hour or so to see everyone ashore, so please do feel free to pop down for a little gin wag or simply to say hello. So with that, I'll leave you now to enjoy our sail away from stunning Stavanger, along with the rest of your evening on board Iona. I'd like to thank you for your attention, and I wish you all a very good afternoon. I always enjoyed Captain Wes's announcements. They were a highlight of my day. This was my favourite drink on the ship. It was called a raspberry creme brulee cocktail.
the food at the Limelight Club was really delicious. I had never really listened to any music by Gareth Gates before, but live and in person he was very entertaining. Time to watch a little travel blog Jamie while we eat our late night buffet. 